Hello, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about what happened to the Jim Rockford Firebirds. And I'm not going to talk about all the cars, but I'll talk about some of the cars. And as you can see here, he's doing the famous J Tate. And actually, uh, Jim Rockford didn't actually invent the 180 degree J turn, but he did use it often in the Rockford Files television series that the maneuver is forever associated with the character. And you can see the Pontiac Firebird E-Sprit. I know I was <laughs> calling it the E-Spirit, and it's not the E-Spirit, it's called the E-Sprit, and I apologize for that in my last video. Uh, this particular car had a 6.6-liter, uh, 6 .6 liter, 400 cubic inch engine, and it was around 189 horsepower. So, of course, they didn't use the standard E-Sprit. But this car, as you can see here, it was uh, auctioned back in 2019 by Barrett Jackson Auction. And here you could actually see the uh, microphone uh, jacks inside the car. This was actually the Hero car. So when they did the just drive around with the car with people in it, this was the car they used. And as you can see, the original car here was owned by James Gardner. This is a 1978 uh, Firebird or Formula. <laughs> this guy's as an E-Sprit. You can see how clean it is and everything and it's just a beautiful car and the interior was kept up and everything. And this car, I was surprised that it didn't go for more money but as you can see here it, it dates June 17th through the 18th and these were all the pictures. This is still up if you want to check it out on the Barrett Jackson uh, website. And this is all the, the uh, description of the car and everything. And just a beautiful car. Here's all the information. It has like the VIN number and what have you. But again, this was the 1978 uh, Firebird that James Gardner owned personally. And this car was used in the last two years of the filming of the TV show Rockford Files. And then as you can see here, the car... So I think it, it should have went for more money in my book. I think it should have went for millions. But it went for $105,000. Which, you know, it is a lot of money for most people. But in my book, I think it should have went for at least $500,000 or a million. Because this car is just... To truly historical. So what happened to the rest of the cars is after the last filming in 1979, Vinny, who runs the shop and modifies the car, bought two of the Firebirds from James Gardner. And then James Gardner bought the one that you saw earlier in the auction that was auctioned off by Barrett Jackson. The Firebirds were later raffled off by Coca-Cola in 1982. The car was presented to the winner by NASCAR driver Richard Petty at a local Circuit City store. And the winner was a lady who unfortunately she chose to have the car repainted a darker color and had the seats reupholstered to a different color as well until she sold it in July of 1989. And a gentleman bought the okay. car. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of look inside the car here. and. Gentleman that owns the car here is gonna open the pull the seat back. And there's the printing press. That that's the printing press there, just like what Jim Rockford had in the uh, TV show. So that's pretty amazing that he has that. That's cool. And um, is there anything you want? Oh, he's got the sport coat too. There you go. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, it's got the same interior. It's got his, uh, looks like his original autograph in there. Well, the actual visors have autographs. I can't get the driver's Oh, side. there you go. James Garner actually said the driver's side. That is really neat. When did you have that sign? Uh, in 2011 or 12, I don't remember. Wow. Yeah, I actually took the visor out. I took it to a uh, very nice school of a guy named John Whitaker. Took it to Garner's house and got him inside. 
That's really amazing, because I know he was immobilized, I guess, because he was sick or something well, towards I, it. Yeah, he had some strokes and stuff. And yeah. He was, he wasn't that well near the end, but, uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's really a neat, uh, I see the plaque in, uh, on the side there, too. That's really, really nice. So this, this is the real, this is a real East Spirit, though, right? Or, okay, because like I was explaining before to, to my, uh, audience that they they a lot of the uh, cars used in the tv series was actually uh formula trans ams they had the 400 engines in them to, to make it quicker they had 400 so, so 77 and because of emission standards they had to go with the 403 old engines okay and they were formulas not trans ams but just formulas formulas so right oh really i didn't know that wow it's, uh, it's actually uh, we call it like topaz California has two cars like this. It's funny show, and you can both had patches of that paint on the car. Oh, wow. And actually, I had somebody put a spoiler back on it, and then painted the car, well, take the spoiler off, and one of the whole, the actual paint colors are right there. So. Wow, that's amazing. It's like the UPS. You ever heard about the UPS paint? They have, always have like a special paint for the trucks. That's true. That's true. So, thank you so much for well, sharing the car. It's really, truly an honor to see see the rock for car you know really really nice and um thanks again okay so uh the gentleman that owns the car he's gonna pull the seat back thank you sir <laughs> sorry to make you pull the seat back again no that's right but